Hello everyone, my name is James Calder and today I'm going to be sharing some of my tips for recovering from a bad day. I feel that I'm usually a happy and smiley person, even though my introverted slash extroverted personality is all over the place, just like my clothes in my bedroom. I was busy, ta-da! But just like everybody else, I do have my moments and I do have my bad days. Like hella bad days. Like I want to get a chisel and carve my eyes out bad days. Like if I drop these lights one more time, I don't think I'm going to recover bad days. Last Friday when I was just about to start recording my weekly vlog, things escalated and I had to leave the house for the next seven hours. There's no need to go into any deeper details, I'm fine, please don't feel the need to send me anything. But there are a few things that I do to recover and to put myself back in a good mood. So those are the tips that I'll be sharing with you in today's video. I think one of the most important things is to keep perspective. You've probably heard this so much in the past from friends and family. Nothing is going to be the make or break of you. No amount of pain lasts forever. In fact, nothing does. And knowing that with enough time, you will get through the situation. When things get difficult, my go-to soothing agent has always, always been to get outside the house and go for a walk. To be honest, I'm really not sure about the physics or the psychology about leaving your house and just breathing in fresh air, but something as simple as a 15 minute stroll around your block can really help you return to that situation with a fresh outlook. Does that make sense? Because I wrote that in one frenzied mind dump of thoughts and feelings and emotions. Just remember to take things one step at a time because I promise you there is life outside of what's currently going on and you will figure things out. Another thing that I kind of want to touch on in this video is the importance of staying in contact. And also I'm going to keep this one really short and memorable. Contact your friends, talk about the problem, eventually you'll start talking about absolutely nothing, and then smile. Smile as much as you can. I'm not saying that you have to be like, no, that's not smiling. Well, there you go. I've learned today that you can't fake it. Hey but the more aware you are of your facial expression, the more happier you will feel. Let me give you an example. Have you ever smiled at someone opposite you in a coffee shop or at the bus station? It's a really stupid question, that is, because I don't know why I wrote that down. You probably have at some point in your life. Did they smile back? If yes, you could have just made that person's day. And if no, they could have been thinking something over in their head. But how did you feel when you saw that person smile back? You feel good. Okay, I did say short and memorable. Contact your friends, talk about the problem, and smile at people a lot. Another thing that I found ties into recovering from a bad day is preparing yourself for the following day. Quite honestly, I feel like that should be an emoji. I don't know what for, but do you ever just sit there in your room on your own and just start thinking of emojis? Preparing yourself for the day means getting everything ready, looking at what needs to be done tomorrow, and please, 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 taking the time to relax. For example, if you need to be dressed and out of the house very early in the morning, then just spend five minutes before bed planning what are the first few things that you need to do, and then just make sure they're ready. Ready, ready, ready. <coughs> for instance, before I leave the house every single morning, I like to make sure that I've eaten breakfast, planned my day and I know what my most important priorities are if just everything goes tits up like it did last Friday. Wow, I haven't said tits up in a while. Comment below, what would the tits up emoji look like if you could type it on a keyboard? Just trust me on this, before bed, spend five minutes preparing yourself for the following day and you will potentially get rid of a lot of stress from your morning. Life certainly has its ups and downs, but those who learn to climb out of the downs and reach for the ups are those that succeed. I read that somewhere, but I don't know where. But anyways, I'm gonna end this week's video here. I hope you enjoyed it and I hope you can relate. Make sure to subscribe for more fun tips and to find out when my next video is gonna be. They're always on Monday. And please let me know in the comments if you have any more tips on recovering from a bad day. Please share your wisdom and experience, it would be greatly appreciated. And if you do apply any of these tips into your day, then please let me know your feedback in a comment or you can tweet it to me. Any one of those would be lovely. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye. I'm that little bit of hope Putting my backs against the road Hello, I'm James Calder and this weekend I'm gonna... It's not the weekend, bloody hell. I don't know why I sit so close to these lights. <laughs>